It started as a faint light at the edge of our solar system, an icy ancient traveler known only by a number, 31 slash Atlas. When astronomers first cataloged it, they thought it was just another comet passing through the outer regions of our system. But when the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward it, everything changed. At first glance, 31 Atlas looked like any other comet, a frozen ball of dust and rock orbiting the sun on a long, looping path. But data from Webb's infrared sensors revealed something no one expected a strange, repeating pattern of emissions, bursts of light that pulsed rhythmically, almost like a heartbeat. Comets don't pulse. They don't send signals. They don't glow in perfect, timed intervals. And yet, 31 Atlas was doing exactly that. When scientists analyzed the infrared spectra, they noticed that the emissions were not random. The chemical signature coming from the object didn't match any known cometary composition. Instead of the usual carbon, ammonia, and water ice, the readings showed something else, complex organic molecules, the same kind of compounds found in living organisms. The James Webb Telescope's instruments picked up traces of amino acids, formamide, and even methane variations consistent with biological activity. These are the building blocks of life, the same chemical ingredients believed to have given rise to biology on early Earth. At first, the team thought it must be contamination or a software error, but repeated scans from multiple instruments, Webb's NearSpec and MIRI modules, confirmed it. 31-slash-Atlas wasn't behaving like a normal comet at all. The data became even more unsettling when astronomers realized that the object's tail its long, glowing trail of dust and gas contained tiny, nanoscopic carbon chains organized in geometric patterns. Under normal conditions, space debris and ice crystals scatter randomly. But in this case, the particles were aligned, forming symmetrical, grid-like arrangements. No natural process could explain that. Some researchers speculated that 31-slash-Atlas might not be a comet at all. Perhaps it was something else, an object deliberately constructed or modified by intelligent life. Others suggested it could be carrying microbial organisms encased within its ice, a frozen arc of alien biology traveling through interstellar space. To test this, astronomers used Webb's spectrographic mode to scan deeper into the object's nucleus. What they found left everyone speechless. The nucleus appeared to contain hollow cavities, each emitting faint thermal radiation at nearly identical intervals, as if something inside was generating controlled bursts of heat or energy. As the data came in, mission control grew tense. The emissions weren't random. They were encoded. They followed a precise mathematical pattern, prime numbers. One of the researchers reportedly said, that's not physics, that's communication. Prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 are often considered the universal language of intelligence because they don't naturally occur in any predictable cosmic process. If the pulses from 31 Atlas were indeed broadcasting primes, it meant only one thing. Someone or something was trying to be noticed. But that wasn't the end of the shock. The object's trajectory was recalculated based on Webb's latest data, and the new results revealed a troubling twist. 31-slash-Atlas was no longer following its predicted orbit. It had changed course. The deviation wasn't large, just a few degrees at first, but enough to alter its future path dramatically. Instead of swimming harmlessly past the outer solar system, it was now on a slow, precise route toward the inner planets, and eventually toward Earth. The change couldn't be explained by gravitational interactions alone. No known natural force could account for such an adjustment. The conclusion, as terrifying as it sounded, was that 31-slash-Atlas had intentionally redirected itself. Within hours, global observatories confirmed the course correction. The mysterious object, once a distant point of light beyond Neptune, was now officially heading closer to us than any comet in recorded history.
NASA released a short statement calling it an anomalous interstellar object under active observation, but behind closed doors, scientists were in full crisis mode. The James Webb team continued to receive irregular signal bursts, each one increasing in strength as the object approached. When decoded, the bursts seemed to align with a specific frequency, 1420 megahertz, the same wavelength used in the famous WOW signal detected in 1977, long speculated to be of extraterrestrial origin. Something intelligent was out there, and it was coming this way. As 31 Atlas drew closer, the world's most powerful telescopes turned their eyes toward it. The Hubble, the very large array, and even ground-based observatories across Chile, Hawaii, and Spain. Every hour brought new data, and with it, new fear. What had begun as an astronomical curiosity was quickly becoming one of the most profound and potentially dangerous discoveries in human history. Within days, NASA confirmed that the pulses coming from 31 Atlas were increasing in speed and complexity. The intervals between them shortened, forming structured patterns, not just prime numbers anymore, but entire sequences resembling coded data streams. It was no longer a question of if this was communication. It was only a matter of what it was trying to say. A joint task force of linguists, mathematicians, and AI systems began decoding the patterns. The breakthrough came when Webb's infrared imaging detected variations in the pulse brightness that matched Morse-like timing, dots and dashes encoded through light itself. When the sequence was translated into binary, it revealed an image, a grid of repeating geometric shapes. At first, it seemed meaningless. But as AI reconstruction cleaned the signal, the image became clear. A double helix. The structure of DNA. The realization hit like an electric shock through the scientific community. 31 Atlas wasn't just emitting energy. It was sending us an image of life's molecular blueprint. It was as if something aboard that object, or within it, was telling us, we exist, and we understand life as you do. But the deeper decoding efforts uncovered something even more haunting. Alongside the DNA structure were a series of numbers, astronomical coordinates. When plotted on a star map, they pointed to a system roughly 12 light years away in the direction of the constellation Lyra. That same region of space had once been the origin point of a mysterious signal detected decades earlier, the WOW signal. The connection was undeniable. Whatever was now inside 31 Atlas had likely come from there. Meanwhile, the object continued to accelerate, now moving faster than expected, as if powered by something more than gravity or solar wind. Webb's instruments measured unusual radiation emanating from its tail, a type of electromagnetic propulsion unlike anything we've ever observed. The more data came in, the more the picture formed. 31 Atlas wasn't a comet at all. It was an artificial vessel, possibly an ancient probe, one that had been traveling through the galaxy for thousands, maybe millions of years. And now, for reasons we couldn't yet understand, it was heading directly for Earth. Speculation ran wild across scientific circles and media alike. Some said it was an automated probe searching for planets with biological potential. Others believed it might be carrying dormant microbial life, seeds meant to terraform new worlds. But there was one final twist. When Webb transmitted one last deep-spectrum scan of 31 Atlas, it recorded a sudden spike, a massive energy burst unlike anything seen before. For a brief moment, the telescope sensors picked up a radio echo that seemed to repeat our own earlier transmissions, Earth's own radio signals sent into space decades ago. In other words, 31 Atlas was sending our voice back to us. Then, the final decoded portion of the transmission stunned everyone. It contained a sequence of symbols that matched those used in the Arecibo message, the human-made broadcast sent into space in 1974. But this wasn't a replay. 
it was a reply, with small but intentional changes. One of the changed symbols represented the composition of DNA.